In this Take Corner video, we're going to look at model release forms, what they are and why you need them. When you first get into photography, naturally your mind is on equipment and skill set. As your confidence grows, there will come a time when you decide to photograph people. This can be anything from basic portraits and portfolio photography to full style shoots. In all the excitement of doing your first photo shoot with a client, regardless whether it's a pain client or a TFP shoot, it is very easy to overlook a crucial element. Model release forms. A model release form is a legal document which protects you as a photographer and applies to photo shoots you are involved in. As a photographer, it is your responsibility to make sure all talent, that is the model or models, have signed your release form at the conclusion of the photo shoot, regardless of who organised the photo shoot. I was recently involved in a magazine submission shoot where I was hired to be just a photographer. The stylists arranged the theme and costumes, hired the models, the makeup artists and me the photographer. But when it came time to be published, I had to sign a photographer release form to the magazine stating that the images were my original work and that I had all the talent release forms. Many photographers think that they own the copyright to the images they create. However, that is only the case when the talent have signed a release form giving you the right to use their likeness in your images. Without a release form, the model is just as much entitled to copyright claim as the photographer. Slightly different rules apply when you are shooting commercial work with agency models, but if you are at that level, I'm sure you know all about release forms. For everyone else, a release form protects you from a model changing their mind about letting you use the images or demanding additional payment months after the shoot has taken place. Every country, and in some instances every state, has slightly different laws so there is no one-size-fits-all release form. This is important to know because there are countless release forms available for download online and many photographers just download the one they like the look of best. The issue with that is unless the release form complies with your local and state laws, it is not worth the paper it's printed on. However, regardless of where you live in the world, there are some key points your release form should have. 1. The model should grant you unrestricted right to use, share or publish the photos without additional permission from the model. It is your responsibility as the photographer to be honest and upfront with your model as to how you intend to use the images. This could be a simple portfolio shoot, commercial shoot, stock image, magazine submission or fine art piece that you intend on printing and selling. Whatever the use, the fee you pay your model should be sufficient compensation for the intended use. Again, when dealing with agency models, the agency can negotiate additional usage fees based on where and how the images will be used. This brings us to point number two. The release form should state the purpose of the shoot or the intended use. This makes sure all parties understand and agree on how the images are going to be used so there are no misunderstandings at a later date. The release form should also mention that once the images are taken, you as the photographer have full creative freedom as to how the images are presented without further consultation from your model. Finally, the release form also requires a clause that the photo shoot was conducted in a proper and professional manner. This clause actually protects you as the photographer. The standard industry practice is your model should be handed a release form when they first arrive on set, so they have a chance to read through all the conditions before any photos are taken. And only once your model has read and agreed to the conditions in the release form, which should have been discussed at the time of the booking, can you start your photography session. However, note that the form is still not signed at this point. At the conclusion of the photo shoot, ask the model to sign the release form. This ensures that if you have not acted in a professional manner or decided to take the photo shoot in a different direction to what was agreed upon, the model has the right not to sign the release form, meaning you can't use the images. This process is extremely important as it protects the model from harassment and lack of professionalism by some photographers. As a final note, if your model is underage, it will be the parent or guardian that will need to sign the release form and they should be on set for the duration of the shoot. Once the shoot is over, the release form is signed and you have paid the model, unless it was a TFP shoot, file the release form in a safe place. A model release form is a legal document and should be treated as such. 
make sure the form you end up using covers all the main points I have mentioned in this video and also complies with your local laws. You never want to find yourself in a situation where your image gets published only to find the model is now demanding additional compensation. Thanks for watching this Tech Corner video. Please comment below with any questions. If you have found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification icon so you get alerts when new videos come out.